Hello, I'm TMN, and welcome to this episode of Coffee Break. Before this episode begins, let's spin the wheel of coffee flavors and see which one we land on today. Today's flavor comes from Green Mountain Coffee Roasters, and it is Caramel Vanilla Cream. As I've said before, I'm probably going to like all of these, so whether or not this is the best tasting one so far makes absolutely no difference, of course. But it does hit you very strong with the vanilla, so... But... I am excited and sad to say that that is not the only coffee we will be drinking today. No, no, no. This is a special episode of Coffee Break. The Coffee Break to end all Coffee Breaks, as it were, if this were not only episode four. Now, in today's episode, we will be asking the question, is coffee the only thing that can be brewed? The answer, of course, is probably yes, but... Here at the Coffee Break Incorporated, which totally exists, by the way, we strive to put an answer to these questions that some people just don't want to answer themselves. You see a video like this and you go, huh, you know, I wonder, can you actually brew that? Just like our dog treat video, we have four items that I have decided to grind up and put a filter through and see if I can coffee-fy it. I don't even know if this will work. I'm no scientist. I didn't really get very good grades in my science classes, so, you know, this may not even work. It may just taste like really polluted water. I don't know. But hey, it's a fun video idea, so, you know, let's get to those flavors, shall we? I've started off with Oreo, because you know what? That sounds like it could actually make a pretty interesting coffee flavor. So, let's just, uh, go to the kitchen and, uh, get that brewing. Hi. Welcome to the kitchen. Here we have our coffee grinder where we will be pulverizing our delicious brews. And uh, something tells me it's only gonna get worse from here. I decided to go the route of mmm uh, delicious to buh because, well, if I started with the buh, it wouldn't be a very entertaining video now, would it? I'm just gonna take out the covered side because, well, I don't wanna get anything in the grinders. I have no idea what I'm doing. <laughs> Hope nothing breaks. <laughs> Yeah, I can make that work. Welcome to the fun part of the video. What I've decided to do is I'm just gonna simply filter this through a little filter. Yeah, that should work. Well, we've got our Oreo brew. Let's just hope this is even remotely good. Well, that didn't really go the way I hoped it would, but maybe we can just mix it up and it'll work out. Oreo going in. Well, I, uh, suppose if you were to professionally manufacture this in some way, I suppose it could be good, but, you know, me and my mediocre ways of brewing here at T-Makers uh, Incorporated, no, 
uh, coffee br break. Uh, it basically just takes tastes like watered down Oreo cookies. Put some crushed up Oreos in your uh, next bottle of water on your daily run, and uh, that's pretty much this. Um, not the worst thing though, I guess. The next flavor that I've decided to brew is Kick Cereal. I would have probably brewed any other cereal because it is so bland, but I've decided that, who knows, maybe there's some magical power within the Kick Cereal that emerges when you brew it in a coffee. Maybe that was the secret all along. Just brew it. Maybe it'll be the best tasting thing I've ever had. Let's find out. Welcome back. It's time for our next brew. Whoa. Well, I decided just to have the next filter ready to go so we could just get right to the brewing. If this is somehow better than the Oreo, then... Wow. Okay, something I'm slowly but surely starting to realize. There's clearly some sort of element or chemical in coffee beans that makes it easy for water to seep through because most of these are just turning to mush inside the filter. So new plan, I'm just going to put the contents straight into the cup, pour the water in, and try to avoid sipping it in when I drink it. I don't know why I do this to myself. I really don't. I don't have to. Most of these Coffee Break episodes have gotten 25 views at best so far. It's not like anyone's watching me torture myself. So I ask myself, what's the point? I don't know. Nope. I'm not even gonna attempt to swallow that. I know you wanna see me try, but uh, it's not gonna be pretty. That pretty much just tastes like kicks, except worse. Well, the third item on our list that we will be brewing is spicy dill pickle almonds. I could see this going one of two ways. I could mentally think it's disgusting because I expect coffee to have a slight sweetness to it, or it could just theoretically be like some vinegary broth, and maybe I could brine something with it. I don't know, but you know what? Let's find out and hope that it tastes good because I'm really not excited about the next one. Hello again. Sorry about the weird angle. I had to make some adjustments. Anyway, let's get this over with. I suppose this method should prove to be faster from now on without the filter portion, but uh, this is the one that I had some hope for, possibly being like a broth of some sort. Probably won't be though. I was trying to make coffee and I just ended up making chunky hot water. story of my life. <laughs> oh, that's good. Yep. 
You're gonna see chefs using that in their soups from now on. Welcome back to the fourth and final item on our coffee brewing list, cat food, because we're on a theme here at Coffee Break Incorporated, where we just have to eat the most disgusting food we can and inject it into our body in the most vile way possible. I sure hope this doesn't put me off coffee, but we'll find out. Well, this is it. The last one. The one you clicked on this video for. The one you've just been twiddling your fingers in anticipation for. Okay, now that ground up so well, I could almost swear it was meant to be made for coffee. No, 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 I don't even, I don't, I don't even, I'm not smelling anything, I'm just preparing, my, my gag reflexes are just, they're already preparing, it's like, it, it knows, it's smart, gag reflexes are smart, they, they know, you know? I didn't even taste anything, I'm just... <sighs> nope. I might be physically incapable of doing this. I'm not gonna lie, I'm, I'm legitimately trying. I really am. Don't think that this is just like, oh, just like a, oh, he's just chickening out. No, I'm, I'm trying. I really am. I'm gonna try one more time, and if this goes bad, it's my fault. <coughs> nope, nope, I'm done. Well, that's the last of that. Well, kids, what have you learned today? We've learned that the only thing that should be brewed is coffee. And I guess tea, but that's about the only two things that should be brewed. You probably could have just guessed that on your own before watching this video, but you and I just had to have the answer, didn't we? I sure hope you enjoyed this episode of Coffee Break. Tune in next time, whenever that may be, and hopefully I'll be doing something more fun for myself. Until next time, stay tuned.